The, the truth doesn't hurt. Whatever it is, it doesn't really? hurt. It's, it's better to know the truth. I remember, um, my mum only lied to me about one thing. Um, she, uh, she said there was a God. And, um... <laughs> But that's because when you're a working class mum, Jesus is like an unpaid babysitter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's just sort of like, she wants you to be good. You know, the best of working class mum where I grew up could, she, she wasn't hoping I'd be a doctor or a lawyer. She hoped I wouldn't be stabbed to death in a barroom fight, you know. So, the best thing to do is, well, if, he, if he's God-fearing, then he'd be good. It's a good rule of thumb because, you know, I went to Sunday school from about the age of four till eight. There was just great teachings of Jesus. I loved Jesus. He was my superhero. And what I loved about Jesus was he was kind. And he, he was brave, and I thought he was amazing. And um, I absolutely I thought he was brilliant, right? just a brilliant guy, you know. So I was about eight, and my brother must have been 19. He came in once, and uh, I was doing uh, something from the Bible. And I said, what are you doing? I said, oh, join Jesus. And he went, um, why do you believe in God? Right? And my mum went, Bob, shut up. <laughs> and I knew she had something to hide. And he was telling the truth. And I knew, I knew from body language. And then I worked it out and I was an atheist in an hour. In an hour? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I wish there was a God. I wish there was. It'd be great. What I've heard, he's brilliant, you know. <laughs> but, um, I just, I can't, you can't, you can't believe in something you don't. Also, if there is a God, why did he make me an atheist?